Hey, good morning, family. Pastor Artie here with your manna and coffee this morning. You know, I just got done at the doctor's office, and um, it was a blessed time. You know, my podiatrist, he's a Christian, and it's so cool when I go in there and he goes, I'm waiting to get blessed today. What do you have? What word do you have for me today? And I was thinking to, I was thinking about it to myself and I thought, wow, you know, that's pretty cool. It's so nice to be able to go and hear people actually want to hear a good message in the morning to be encouraged with the word of God. You know, and I told him, I said, you know, I was talking about the other day uh, with my assistant pastor about the term born into original sin, or you were born into sin. Were you born into sin? You know, I have to think about it. What about Adam? You know, Adam was created in the image of God and placed in a garden where it was a specific place just for him without sin, and without temptations of any kind. And it says that he was creating God's image. You know, Adam was the first Adam and he had no sin until he did sin. And I thought about that. And then I started thinking, you know what? I had a baby that was miscarried when uh, it was still in the womb. And I thought to myself, you know, they said, well, you'll never see that child again. And I thought about it, it's like, wait a minute. It had a heartbeat. It had brain waves. It was a creation that was created and that God fashioned together. So what do you mean I'm not going to see him or her again? I beg to differ. I think I will. Why? Because that baby knew no sin. It was sinless. And then when I was sharing that with my with my uh, with my with my doctor, he said that he had a child who was prematurely born and lasted a couple weeks and, and passed away. But I told him, I said, you're going to see that child again. It was beyond the age of account. It was under the age of accountability. It didn't know what sin was. How could it sin? So when it passed away, how could it go from death to hell? It's impossible. I truly believe that we are not born into sin. We are born into a sinful world, but we're not born into sin. We're not of a sin nature. Everybody, all pastors always say, well, you're of a sin nature. You're born in a sin nature. No, you're not born in a sin nature. You're born in a godly nature, the nature of God. You are his creation, even though your mom and dad had something to do about it, but you were born in his image and he, you are one of his creations. So how could you know sin? You see, it's not until we, as Gentiles, give into the sin that we are now of a sin nature because we have sinned. We have willfully sinned. You know, what about these people that never sinned? I can't believe Mother Teresa ever sinned. You know, she spent her whole time devoted to God and His work. So what would you say there? Was she of a sin nature? Was she born into a, a, sin, a sin nature? Well, no, she was born into a sinful world. But it's not until we actively choose to sin that we now become creatures of sin and we created enmity between us and God. You know, I think that's a great topic for a subject that I think my assistant pastor is going to work on, and we're going to bring you a study based on original sin. What is it to use that term? You know, when we stand in a pulpit and we say, people call people to us and we say, you know, you're born in a, into a sin nature. And they weren't born into a sin nature. They were born into a sinful world and they gave in to the sin and its temptation. And then they are now separated from God and in need of a savior. Today, family, how are you walking? Are you walking guilt-ridden because people tell you, well, you're just born into a sinful nature. You're sinful. No, you're not sinful. You're the righteousness of God. You were made in his image. Now, if you've sinned, then yes, you have to come to the Lord and ask forgiveness of that and allow him to live in you and through you. But you're not born into it. 
You are born into a world that is filled with sin. You know, there was no sin in the garden until the serpent showed up and tempted Eve and then Eve to Adam. Let's get our understanding right, guys. God created man to have fellowship with him. And if man is sinful, he can't have fellowship with him. And it wasn't until the serpent that sin entered this world through Adam because he gave into it. And now when you give into it, you need to be born again. You need to be saved. And if you've done things that in the past are wrong and you know you sin, you need to get right with God right now. Just say it, Lord, I know that I have sinned, but I wanna change my life and I want you to come into my heart and live in and through me today. I wanna turn around and just go the other way because I wanna live for you today and let your light shine through me so that others can see the goodness of your love that you put into my heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Done deal. You're not a sinful creature. You are born into a sinful world. Don't buy those lies. May God bless you. May he keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you. And all of you who have lost children prior to birth or maybe after birth, a Sid's child, you know what? If you're a born again believer, you are going to see those children again. They're going to be in heaven. I, I can almost guarantee it 100% because of what God's word says. May you have a blessed day. May God keep you and bless you today to know that you need to walk the walk in the light of God's love today. Allow him to be your Lord and you to be his child today. Linda and I love you. We're praying for you. Pastor Tony and the rest of the staff, we're lifting you guys up constantly. Have a blessed day. I'm going to head home and make myself some breakfast because I'm hungry. I love you guys. Bye-bye.